So today is 420, the unofficial cannabis holiday, but tomorrow that's going to be a day of celebration in New Jersey. In about 14 hours, New Jersey will begin the tri-state's first legal sales of recreational marijuana. Only 13 dispensaries have been approved and they are gearing up for long lines. And the question now, will they be able to meet the demand? News source Brian Thompson got exclusive access to a large marijuana production facility and he is live from Elizabeth with more. Brian. Yeah, David, this is one of the 13 uh, dispensaries that you just mentioned that will be selling legal recreational marijuana to any adult 21 and over come tomorrow morning. This one opens at 9 o'clock in the morning. Others have different opening hours. But certainly the big issue now, will there be enough, as you just said? Well, let's take this exclusive look, if you will, at how the product, how the cannabis gets here. If this was smell -o vision you might find the odor overwhelming. But in a former Super Walmart in Branchburg, it is also an overwhelming sight of rows and rows and rows of marijuana plants growing under artificial lights from their first cuttings off the mother plants to full bloom with buds ready to harvest later today. Since last year, we've been basically building up our inventory, getting ready for adult use. Adult recreation sales, that is. Plants have been growing as fast as they can simulate nature with their LED lights, workers trimming the plants to maximize growth for demand that is expected to explode when the first legal recreational sales in the tri-state begin tomorrow in 13 dispensaries scattered across New Jersey. Well, the goal there is to reduce the black market, right? We want to put out safe, consistent product to the consumer, and hopefully by doing that, we're, the illicit market diminishes. So Verano, parent of Zenleaf, gave us a tour of this supersized growing and processing house, the lab where spinning distillation devices purify the THC oil used in many products, large jars of a thick liquid. Next door, machines put that oil into vape cartridges, other workers finishing the process before packing. Prices may seem high when sales begin tomorrow, but CEO Archos says. As the program matures and more product becomes available, I think you see consistent supply and, and prices also start to, to drop a little bit. Nearby, another machine takes that same oil to produce gummies and lozenges, molds forming the candies of different flavors, a dusting in sugar, and then packing them into bottles for sale. But because of state law allowing sale only to those 21 and older, no gummy bear shapes that might attract children. Finally, we see yet another production and packaging room, yet more products coming off assembly lines. In this case, jars of buds weighing an eighth of an ounce, as well as, yes, those are pre-rolled joints, what I'm told is one of their best sellers. And yet as massive as this operation appears, it also has to serve the medical market, those patients getting first priority under state law. So tomorrow's opening promise comes with a caution. It's going to be tight in the beginning. There are not that many stores. There are a lot of people in New Jersey. We anticipate um, there will be some long lines and, uh, and long waits. So if you know anybody who might be taking advantage of this opening day tomorrow, this is what they're gonna face. Long lines out the door, probably. Certainly inside, they've divided where you can buy the recreational marijuana from the medical marijuana because they do have to give priority to the medical folks. At least this dispensary is doing it that way. And while they open their doors at 8 o'clock here, that's only for the medical folks, the patients. The recreational sales start at 9 a.m. Live in Elizabeth, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York.